on YouTube. This is Evan Rotary here. I'm playing you another cover here. Hopefully you'll learn something. This is one by Zane Williams. It's called Hands of the Working Man. And personally, I really like the song, but I didn't take the time to learn it until about an hour ago. I've known it for since it came out. But, like I said, hopefully you learned something. Alright YouTube, so this time we're going to break down this uh, intro part to Hands of a Working Man. We're going to we're going to break that down for those who can pick it up quick. You know, we're going to go kind of intermediate here level for you. And then, at the end of that, we're going to also post a tab up here. And uh, you guys can pause the video there, learn it there, and then pick up with the chords. Or, if you just want to learn the chords, just jump straight into the chords. But, let me talk a little bit about this part. It's pretty simple. First off, I should start. The tuning of this for the guitar is just drop D. So, instead of E... You're just going to drop your E string down to D. So yeah, you want that guitar and drop D. Next thing, you start on open D. After that, you're going to go up to your third fret on your D string. Followed by an open note. After that, you're going to do a hammer-on on the 2nd fret on the G string. A lot of it's just open chords, so slowly. Also, to throw in there, you got another hammer-on and pull-off on the 3rd fret of the A string. So, when I'm talking about the finger movements, that's just the main parts. Other than that, I'll play it slowly so you guys can kind of see, but a lot of it's just open strings here, like... And for the next part, kind of move in here, it's about the same thing. I'm going to play the first part through and move into the second part and pause for you. Here it is. going to do is put your finger on the third fret on the D string, the low D string, slide it up to the fifth, and then you're going to go down to the A string and double pick. So instead of doing the hammer on, on the G string on the second fret, you're going to skip that and go to So you're going to go 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the D string, and then the same thing on the A string, and then after that, open string on the D. So to recap on that, you're going to go 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the low D, same thing on the A, and finish off with open D. Keep in mind, a lot of this stuff, he actually plays finger pick with the two fingers. So after you get that, it basically repeats itself, but it's going to be more kind of, it's going to add a couple extra picking parts on the D string and the A string. And then you're going to kind of transition into the chords. Like this. picking part after the hammer on pull off on that G string is so there you can put two and two together and I'll play this one more time in full just to recap you guys can see it and I'll play it slow as well So the chords are really simple here. It's basically just D, G, and the E. What we're going to do.
going to do here is I'm going to show you, I'm going to play it through real quick. So. chords right there, you know, combined with the verse. Next I'm going to show you the chorus. It's a little different. It goes from D to F and you move the shape of F up to uh, the fifth fret position. Alright, so I'm going to play the chorus real quick for you guys to see. One thing I forgot to add there is after the chorus repeats second time, after that repeats twice, it's going to take that same F shape and it's going to move it up in between the sixth and the seventh or sixth and the eighth fret. And it's going to play that for a couple measures and then it's going to shift up the last couple beats between nine and ten between 8 and 10, excuse me. So that... Played like so. And that's the chorus. A real simple song, guys. It's just, you know, that easy verse. Basically, D. G, bring it back down to D, play your E, G, and then D, and then you're going to go into your chorus, starting on D again, F, and then you move that same F shape up to G. Alright guys, we're back now, hopefully you guys picked up the chords, and also I hope you guys took the time to learn the picking part because I think that's a badass riff right there. And definitely worth learning. But anyways, I hope you guys throw it all together and whatnot and you know could see exactly how it's supposed to sound or you can kinda make it your own. Do something with it. Definitely a good tune. But I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna play, you know, first two verses in the chorus through for you. Get a feel of it. And I watched a YouTube video of him playing this live and that's exactly where I got it from, his acoustic version. But here it is.
All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. This was Evan, and I hope you guys learned a lot this week. And please tune in for more videos to come. Please feel free to subscribe and also give us some feedback. But please tell us what you want to hear. I'll teach you it.